Hey everyone, it's Lillian from The Postmodern Mom, the matriarch. No, I'm actually not the matriarch. This is my weekly chat with you. I've been getting some flack from commenters about home education and I just wanted to clarify something if you didn't know already, which I did clarify in a previous video. Homeschool is what I call home education. There is something I think called flexi-schooling and other kinds of tutoring at home, but this is not what I'm doing. I'm doing home education. I'm teaching my daughter from the beginning. Everything that I'm doing at home is tailored to her needs and her learning. I just, I guess what I wanted to say was... I think there's such a joy in keeping a good home and watching your children grow up and cooking and cleaning and supporting your husband. Being able to home educate is a privilege, but also it is probably the best thing you can do for your children. There are so many people who have been home educated, uh, especially those people who are Olympic athletes, people who are highly skilled in a particular field, who want to spend more focused time playing the piano or ice skating, etc. So home education isn't just for people who for some reason think that, oh, we're gonna shelter everyone. No, no, we're not sheltering our children. In fact, we are giving them a higher education than they do get at school. And I am biased, but I do know that you can teach them as much, if not more, in a more efficient time at home. Anyway, I was just practicing singing some songs with my daughter, and uh, that's why the guitar was out. I was hoping to play something for you, but we had a little like, baby wanted to be held by his mommy, don't you? So this week, I just wanted to encourage people out there that home education is, is not something what we're doing to shelter or um, because I'm lazy or something. We get to see a lot of friends throughout the week. Um, we do play dates and she also has special classes like ballet and French class and um, and then obviously she has that community day that's a full day with other children um, learning a lot of stuff. Your little cheek right here. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know how people arrange anything for the house if they don't have someone at home all day because a lot of our deliveries uh, require someone to open the door or a signature. And I always wondered if you have two people if, if both mom and dad are working and no one's at home, like how do you ever receive your packages? Do you have to have some special area that they leave it? Um, anyway, I, I feel like whenever I'm home, I, I get deliveries and I get people who are coming to fix things in the home and etc. And I just work, those people who are working all the time, I don't know how you do it. This is only the coming up on the fourth week of home education. And my daughter has already memorized the times tables up to sixes. So she can do 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 78, 84, 90. Is that right? Okay, you wanna sing it for them? You do? Go ahead. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. 54, Do you think you could tell me what four times three is? Eight, twelve. Twelve. What do you think five times five is? I don't know. What are you doing? Enough. What are you doing? I don't know. I think there's such a joy in keeping a good home and watching your children grow up and cooking and cleaning and supporting your husband.